Hi everyone, welcome back to Ski Region Simulator. Here we are. This is great. It's Christmas. Ah, if only I'd known this Christmas tree and the little sleigh bells were here. I could have done a nice little Christmas episode, but no, I've only just discovered it. Look at that. That's an amazing Christmas tree. Fantastic. And who knew this was hidden away? In, well, it's not really hidden away. It's in the middle of the town, but I'd never seen this before. So we're back at Ski Region Simulator. Uh, the reason I've been wandering around town is that I've been waiting a couple of days for our uh, ski slopes and also our shops and kiosks, etc. to do a little bit of money. I've also been... Let's just skip back. I've also been uh, grinding out some missions as well. And as you can see, we have $423,684. ka -ching! Uh So things have been going great. Um, I've skipped on, we've basically skipped on, I think it's almost two days since you last joined me. So we're expecting some snow um, tomorrow, in fact. Wow, get us some snow tomorrow. Oh, and also, if you go through here, you can see that I've not, I haven't cheated and got it out on loan. I have literally ground that out. That's been hard work. But in the meantime, I've also been clearing the icicles off the buildings and collecting garden gnomes. Currently, I have found 37. <laughs> And you can see I've done 44 missions so far. So I've been, and our popularity has gone up to 12%, which is great. Uh, quick check on everything. Uh, have a quick look in the kiosk. Normal pricing. Last hour is 80%, so it's doing really well. Look, it brought in eight and a half grand yesterday. Eight and a half grand. A kiosk. I know, right? Amazing. We've also got the info booth, which is brilliant. Uh, for $2, uh, it brought in $2,700 yesterday, and it's 75% capacity, it's already brought in, um, al almost already paid for itself this morning, and of course we do get the uh, the clues on what the uh, clientele would like to see. So, sorry bud, didn't mean to walk through you. Um, we have our Hoja station, which is currently ticket price of $36, but look. Last hour, it's maxing out 100%, so we might as well whoop that up to recommended price and cash in on our popularity. We could maybe go... No, let's let, let's go to normal. We want to keep the popularity high. You know, people like to see queues. It, it makes them convince them that it's, you know, that is the place to go, you know. If you ever go on holiday anywhere and you've got these little taverniers around, you know, Greece or Spain, they, they you know, they, they will sometimes get people in, just give them free drinks, just to get them sat down at the tables, it attracts more people in. So that's what we're going to do. Our car parking, or our parking lots, currently at $6. Parking condition is 100% fantastico. Yesterday it brought in three grand, so it's paying for itself, so I'm delighted by that, and it's um, it's doing okay. I haven't actually seen a car go into it yet, but it's uh, okay. Let's skip over to this one, and we've got... Uh, our childcare, they brought in three and a half grand yesterday. Fantastic, cost us £600. Normal pricing, that's doing great. We'll leave that there. Um, here we have Bull Station. Again, 100%. So we'll, oh, we are at the recommended price. Should we, we're going to bump that one up to $40. Yeah, why not? Let's just cash in. Cash in. Uh, and we've got our hotel. And we've also, of course, got the, um, the uh, top of the ski slopes as well. So our hotel is currently for normal pricing of $80, uh, families and children friendly. Yesterday it brought in five grand, so it's only killing us by $1,000 at the moment. <laughs> but we're getting there. 23% um, usage yesterday, 63 in total yesterday. Oh, sorry, 23% in the last hour. So we're getting there. Unclaimed baggage. Uh, yeah. yeah, go on then. We might as well take the cash. I've got the, uh, the sled already hooked up anyway, so basically we're doing great. Well, we're doing okay. We're not doing great, but now we have $424, sorry, $424,000. I, I missed a very important piece out there. Um, we have enough to buy the second or the station halfway up the mountain, so that is what we're going to do. Now I haven't forgot um, our lesson pucker 
purchasing decisions last time when we got the tractor and the salt spreader. But hopefully that station I think was 350, which will leave us 75,000 left over. And I think the uh, little skidster digger was about 70 grand, so we might just be able to squeeze in the little, um, the little skidster digger as well. So we might be able to buy both today, which would be awesomely superb. Um, that of course does mean that we'll have to groom another slope, which is great. Gets us back into some grooming action. And of course, with the snowfall tomorrow, we're going to have to keep an eye on how. What's the best way to go? Probably this way. Cut up, maybe. Um, we're going to have to keep an eye on the uh, the condition of the, uh, the ski runs because I'm guessing more snow equals you know required to regroom. So that's okay. But of course, a new ski slope uh, with, I'm guessing, probably a couple of slopes may come with that one. It will grant us more money opportunities. So it, it's it's a hell of an upgrade. And once we've got all these, I think we're going to maybe upgrade the um, uh, ski mobile, the snowmobile, whatever this thing is, the little Sherpa, to whatever the next one is. Because I know we said this one's great, and it is great. It's, you know these journeys are quite long now it's always sending us up to the top of the mountain and a little bit more speed might just um is it this one no it's right at the top isn't it uh it might just help us get that little bit um get where we want to go a little bit quicker both in the terms of the delivery journeys moving around the map but also the quicker we do deliveries the more of a uh, monetary gain we get in, a, in terms of a bonus at the end of the mission so that will also help us financially boom there we go so there is another 13 or whatever grand in the bank wow so let us potter down to we down all these slopes and we'll go to Hoja station not Hoja station sorry we have what was it um, it was this one. How much was that one at? Oh no, can't afford that one. Can't afford that one. We can afford that one. But I think this one's the best one. We can then we should get this ski slope. This ski slope. Oh no, actually that one comes. We'll find out. We'll find out. But that one's 350. Uh, let's go a little bit of should we go off piste? Yeah, let's go off piste. And uh, go down the hill. Oh god. I'm just going to come over, now I've seen this little hut over here, let's just check to see if there's any gnomes around there. I tell you what, the, the, these gnomes have been an absolute... there is. I, do you know what? If you see a building or anything out in the distance with on its own, with no apparent reason for being there, go and check it out, because you can guarantee there's going to be a gnome next to it. Now we've just got a, a death-defying... wow, this the grip on this um, weird track. What? Yep, this is... They call it a simulator, and I can see why. Oh, dear. Yeah, the physics are all over the place, aren't they? But it doesn't matter. Right, let's get rid of that map. This is quite an interesting little um, shoot. Right, is it this one up here? It might be. Wow, we've got some air. Oh, loads of icicles on that house as well. We'll clear them down. Yeah, there is a, there is a uh, achievement for clearing 50 icicles, apparently. Uh, I had a look at the achievements yesterday when I unlocked one of the gnome ones. The first gnome one, which is like, collect 25 gnomes. Right, I think I'm there. I think I'm out. I think this was it. So is, this has got to be Elgrat. Let's see if this is Elgrat. Ooh, for sale. Elgrat Station, $350,000. Once you own this station, you will also have access to a lot of facilities. After a purchase, it is generally a good idea to take a walk around the entire station to locate all the spots where the facilities can be built. Bye. Wow, well, that was a lot of money. I never spent $350,000 in one go like that before. So we've got all these upgrade points. We've got one, two three upgrade points. Uh, 
four upgrade points. And I think that's it. So we can potentially get some more stores. Um, yeah, look at this. There's Bannery and Gnome around here. Oh, we've got a, one of those as well, which is great. Uh, what's this for? For say extension. For say extension. They are directly attached to the stations that can bring you some financial income. Oh, solar panels. I don't know why they just don't call them solar panels. 18 grand. A cell phone tower. Billboards. Solar panels. Okay. So, there is a potentially a lot, a lot of development can be done up this one. This is quite cool. We've got a helicopter pad as well. Amazing. Can we get a helicopter pad? Oh, we can. Platform extension. You can... This uh, platform is either a helipad, a picnic area, or a sun deck. Ah. So, a helipad would be 32,000. Uh, certain guests with larger wallets love to arrive at a resort by helicopter. Ooh. Picnic area. That's not really a nice picnic area, is it? It looks every bit the uh, helicopter pad it's been made for. Especially families and younger guests use the picnic area quite frequently. And that looks like the worst sun lounger in the world. Okay, right. Oh, wow. There is so much we can do. Oh, we got another development point there. Wow. And what's this? So we got, we got a... Honestly, if we're going to have a little sun deck here, why have we got a big cable reel thing? Wow. So what can we put here? A large extension. We can put a restaurant, a conference room. Now, conference rooms came up very frequently, didn't they? A spa, a movie theatre, halfway up a mountain. It's a bit bizarre. A dance club. <laughs> yeah, trek up a mountain in your in your uh, stilettos, ladies. Oh, dear. And a restaurant. But I guess if we had the nightclub and a helicopter wheel pad, we'll be certainly um, going for a certain clientele. Right. Wow, okay, let's just do some management here. Do the basic management. So, it's $40 we currently got the ticket price to. Recommended is $46. Um, it's only just starting. So let's let's bump it to the recommended just for the um for the uh for the sake of it. Oh, watch out people. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful. And let's see which wow, look at the upgrades on that. <laughs> Look at the upgrades on that, lads. Go, go, lummy. Um, so that's only given us Route Four. Oh, okay. I thought that would have. Fine. Okay, so I guess we get this one next, and then we will get Route Six. Or yeah. Anyway, that's another source of income, which is great. Let's get moving. We've also got the, um... Uh, no, I'm not going to hire a consistent. I'll do it myself, thank you. I'm more than capable of doing myself. Um, wow. Okay, so let's get this down. See, there's another little hut here. We'll just do a quick check for gnomes. Gnomes, gnomes. Where are you, you little gnomes? I'm hunting you left and right, little gnomes. Okay. Wow, look how high we are. We can see the... Uh, down there, that's the um, helicopter pad, isn't it? Where all the uh, spinal injuries I take after they've been riding in the, in the uh, sled for five minutes get taken. So a little quick once over around this building. See, I've got my eye in now for, um, for gnomes. Oh, we've got some icicles. Missed. Yes. Yes! Okay, great. I found the best way to find gnomes is to look for icicles. Oh god. Oh god. This is not going well. And the best way to find icicles is to get a job on the, on the clock where you can't really stop and then you see millions of them and when you go back to look for them you can never find them again. Sod to all that, isn't it? Why, this sled is pulling me all over the place. Right. So that's done. Oops, sorry. over there. With that done, um, we have 91,000 still remaining so we can afford to buy the little digger and then we still got a little bit of cash left over to maybe um, 
start us off in one of our purchases at the top of the hill. Right, our food stall. Yes, flash then, weird. Uh, it brought in $3,408 yesterday. Cost us 150 bucks. That is doing fantastically well. Our little um, ski lift thing. Excuse me. It's 100% busy. Which would make sense if the uh, the, uh, the ski West Mate um, station is busy. So uh, I, no, there's no reason to change that. I don't think we'll keep at normal pricing. We don't want to price ourselves out at this stage where we're still growing popularity. Our drug store brought in six grand yesterday. Awesome! It's almost at 90%. So we could potentially look to start thinking about a new drug store. Brilliant. And our ski school. Uh, brought in four and a half, four thousand eight hundred and sixty dollars yesterday. Fantastic! So everything, bar the hotel, is bringing in a nice profit. But the hotel, at least, is no longer hemorrhaging money, left, right, and centre. It's only a thousand dollars down, thousand <laughs> dollars down a day, mind. But fortunately, we can cover the costs with the other facilities. Awesome! Right, bring this one back in here. And we'll hop over to this. Have we got everything hitched, hitched. And we'll drive this up the hill. And uh, we'll get grooming on whichever slope is now ours. Oops, where are they going? I've got my hazards going. Come on, you must be able to see this huge piston bully coming up the hill. Look at this. You can't see that. You shouldn't be on the slope. It's like World Rally in the 80s, isn't it? See how close you can get to the vehicle. Right, so it's slope 4 is now ours, isn't it? Yeah, slope 4. Okay. Groomer down. Off we go. Oop, he's off. Right, we get this nicely groomed. This is quite a long slope, actually, thinking about it. It goes all the way up there, doesn't it? This is like ploughing one of the really big fields in uh, Farm Sim now. Really should be doing this at night, I guess. And I guess that this is what the kind of stuff you should be doing at night to keep yourself occupied uh, while you're waiting for the uh, clientele to come back the next day. Because you really probably shouldn't be grooming during the day. It's probably uh, a little bit of a, a faux pas, you know. Because in all, ser all ill seriousness, if one of those skiers came down and whoa, okay, that's not gone well, and did exactly what that guy just did and drove straight into us. Clearly not our fault, but that would, um... Yeah. We would be probably looking at a fatality. I'll do my best to avoid them. I'm just going to move over a little bit. Because I'm finding it a bit of a struggle to get everything in. And I know you don't have to be inch perfect with these things. But the perfectionist in me does like to try and at least make it nice and tidy. is really sliding. I think these kind of slopes are when you need the uh, upgraded piston bully. I just imagine they don't get... Okay. I've really got to learn to uh, drive around those a little bit better. Oh, another snowman. Wow, this is a big old slope actually. I won't do all this online, don't worry. I'll, uh, I'll finish this slope off off screen because uh, yeah this could be quite the uh, the journey to do this although it's registering it not a lot but goodness me this is an incredibly long slope is this it here is this is this the 
uh, the station right here. Done it again. Or does four keep going? No, I think this is it, isn't it? Yeah, that's ski slope one over there. So four ends, probably... Oh, I can see where it ends. Great. So I thought that one would be ours as well. Slope six, but I guess not. It's a bit of a shame. Kind of starts at our... Um, at our station, doesn't it? They should at least be paying... Well, at least, I guess, even if we don't own that slope, they would be using our ski lift and paying us money that way. So we do get a little bit of money out of them. We should do some sort of ticket deal. So if you come down our slopes, you get a, you know, ski ride, ski ride, ski, um, ski lift, and uh, day pass on the slopes, all in one combo. And then we can put the uh, the one off uh, ski lift tickets a little bit higher, just to kind of spite them to try and say, well, it'd be cheaper if you got the, the day pass on our slopes as well. And then it kind of forces people to think, well, let's save some money and uh, ski on his slopes for the day. And we could all laugh over our cigars and cognac in the evening. Fantastic. Empire building at its best. Okay, well, well then, I'm going to finish this off screen because um, this is massive, isn't it? But, um, wow, look at the number of skiers we've got coming down this. We're going to be earning a fortune, hopefully. Um, so what we'll do next time, we will look to purchase the little skidster um, for our salt spreader. Thank you for your comments. I did see the comments saying, why didn't you get the lizard um, salt sprayer truck? I could have done that, and I could have sold the tractor, and we could have got that. Uh, but the thinking behind keeping the tractor and getting the skidster is that come later on when we want to move snow around, we'll need a tractor and trailer. So uh, it, I just wanted to keep hold of the tractor, I think. I think it will be useful going forward. And, you know, if we sold it, we wouldn't get our money back. And then we could, you know... So, uh, I think we'll just hold up, hold fast for now and um, do what we need to do. You see, money now, if we're a little bit patient, isn't really... Where's he going? Uh, excuse me, sir. What, can I... Get out of the way. Excuse me, sir. Where... What? Oh, he's, he's just jumped under the fence. So, have you bought a ticket? I've got to question your... Um, oh, God, I can't get you. Damn you, Clevery. Uh, sir? Sir? Got your number? Do you know what? I don't think he's paid for a, a uh, ticket to get up the uh, slope, or... Where's he off? Look at him go. Oh, come on. Oh, look at him go! Wow. <laughs> hmm, I think... I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. That was a bit weird. Anyway, on that bizarre note, yeah, we'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. As I say, I'll finish this slope off, or a lot of it, next time. We might just finish it off uh, at the start of... Um, the next episode but uh, I'll do the majority of it now we'll also have a look at getting that uh, little skidster uh, truck or digger should I say and we will then save up and upgrade the um, the station up the mountain because we got so much potential there so let me know your thoughts of what kind of clientele are we gonna go high class and trying to get a helicopter pad and a, a conference room and some fancy restaurants and that kind of thing to try and bring the super rich to our ski slopes let me know your thoughts feelings 
and uh, suggestions and we can go from there so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed it as always share it on all the social medias and i will see you next time on the ski slopes